I really G. There's up, you know. Okay. Oh, my bad, my bad. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you why it's so important to have confidence as a duelist in Valorant. And not just as a duelist, but as any character or any as any role in Valorant, it's really important to have confidence. And the reason this is, is because primarily you're going to be going first, you're going to be entering for your team. And if you're uncomfortable doing that, then it's going to definitely hold your ability to carry your team back. So... You know, I think it's really common in people that I coach who are lower rank, like Diamond Below, or, or sometimes even in Ascendant, but usually Diamond and Below, and particularly like Silver, Gold, and Platinum and Below, because that's where the majority of you guys probably are. Um, what you're going to find is you're going to see a lot of duelists or a lot of people kind of like cautious or scared, right? You see them shift around, shift walk around a lot. They don't really run a lot. And then the funny thing is in Ascendant, it's like the exact opposite. They run around everywhere. And then as you start to get even higher, you realize like the, op the ideal way to play the game is actually kind of like a mixture of both. So what I'm trying to say here is if you're a duelist and you're like sitting here waiting for something to happen the whole round, every round, every game, forever, then you're not playing duelist correctly, right? Like if I'm playing duelist, I'm instantly going to swing this, not swing, but like jiggle and then start to come out, clear here. And then like if I get flashed, then okay, for the next round, I know like, okay, I might wait a second to see if he's going to flash or I might make a noise like running and then wait for him to flash and then peek. But the whole, this whole first tip is just trial and error, right? You, you have to be willing to like try something to see how it's gonna work. And you have to be willing to accept that it might not work how you want it to the first few times or maybe the first dozen times, right? Like sometimes, especially when you're entering, like say I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a silver duelist and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna flash out. I run out and then like, I am looking here, I'm looking up here and then I get shot from the sides or one of the sides, right? And I, I die, right? So diff next time I might be like, all right, let's get a smoke up here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna enter you again, right? So the thing about Valorant is like you gotta learn from your mistakes, and you have to have thick skin. If you're gonna go out like this, if you're gonna play th this game, and you want to get better at it, you have to be willing to make mistakes and learn from them. If you go out here and you flash and then you die, and you get shot, and then you start complaining because you die from the corner, you're like, oh, can't corner camper, uh, and then you start crying like and you give up, like, you can't, this game is not for you, man, like, trust me, I've been there, I get tilted, but you have to have thick skin, and you have to be willing to adapt to the mistakes that you make, and you're gonna make mistakes all over the place, like, I make mistakes all over the place, and I'm, I'm kind of good at this game, but not super great, right, so, if you're watching this, and you're lower ranked than me, then you're probably also making a lot of mistakes, and that should be motivational to you, because you're making so many mistakes, that there's so many opportunities for improvement, right, and I'm not trying to be mean, or right? I'm just telling you kind of how it is, so that's one big thing is try new things, trial and error, right? So like if you, for example, never, if you never, like a lot of people in lower ranks, they either go A or they go B, right? There's never like a consideration for mid or for cat. So I love to go up here all the time. Like yesterday in my game, I was destroying people, right? You got to clear up here and here. Like there's usually someone that's going to be sitting yeah. somewhere here. So kind of be ready to clear this here. So I kind of like to jiggle this. Then I clear to the left because sometimes you will sit here on defense and like hold like this. You might not see this a lot in lower ranks, but generally just clear like this. And then what's going to happen in lower ranks if you come up like this is you're going to just be able to shoot someone in the back of the head yeah. here or over here, right? Because they're just not, they're not thinking, right? Like, and this is, again, if you never have the thought to like walk up yeah. cat like this, you're never going to actually find this play, right? You don't see people do this in your rank probably. But you have to be you have to be willing to try something and then again this might not work there might be someone right here with a shotgun but does it that mean that this is a bad play no it doesn't mean you should never do it again no you should still try it later on maybe in, in that game or in a different game maybe the team you're playing is just likes to play cat right and then a different team you play against they don't play anyone cat because i promise you're gonna find teams that literally play no one in, in this whole area until you start to abuse it and once you abuse it you get like it's already like two or three free rounds for you and the team that i was playing against that I did this against they didn't even they didn't even counter it so it was just free rounds and we won the game um and then another thing is walking up mid I'm not gonna get really get into this but basically guys the whole takeaway for this first point is just trial and error try new things don't be scared to make mistakes learn from your mistakes learn what you can do better after you make the mistakes and yeah so now I'm gonna be moving on to the next tip which is deathmatch so to build confidence right because our last tip is also going to build confidence. But this this tip, deathmatch, think about what deathmatch does, guys. What does deathmatch do? Deathmatch 
think about okay think about whenever you're playing an unrated or a spike rush or a normal competitive game think about how many fights you take per round okay so maximum on average you're gonna have five fights per round or actually that's not true you can, there's reses you can have in like phoenix ult but generally generally on average you're probably gonna have like a cup one to two fights per round okay and then per game that that does add up but think of, think about how fast paced deathmatch is right think about how many fights you have per minute there's so many fights per minute and it just it really accelerates your ability to take fights or like your your understanding of how to optimally take fights and it it, it, it like accelerates how effective you are at taking fights how effective you are at peaking how effective you are at crosshair placement and this is not like if you were to just play comp over and over and over again that process is much slower right because there's simply just less fights occurring so I hope that makes sense. It's kind of the same for Team Deathmatch, but I have realized recently that Deathmatch is just like more fast pace because you just spawn and yes, it's annoying because people can spawn right behind you and you get shot back in the head and yes, it's really annoying sometimes, but it's also really, really effective at quickly, rapidly building that muscle memory that you're really gonna need in comp. The aim, the crosshair placement, the way that you peek, the way that you hold angles, the way that you do everything mechanically. Uh, it's, it's gonna build that for you really fast and this ultimately leads to a lot of confidence because imagine yourself right now and then imagine yourself way better with better aim better crosshair placement better peaking swinging in like a week right uh, like you you're like if, if you just peek this you know that you're gonna get the kill because you've done it like 20 times in deathmatch versus someone who's never who doesn't do this very often like they're gonna be like really scared and they might not peek it right because they don't they've never trial and errored it going back to step one in deathmatch and you can apply that same tip tip one into deathmatch but yeah, just basically aim training is really important. Like you can do aim labs as well. Like I have been doing that a lot. I would highly recommend deathmatch too. Um, yeah, guys, let's go move on to the third tip and that's going to be communication. Okay. So a big part of communication, by the way, if you're a duelist, bring the spike over to here somewhere. If they're, if there's no one on your team picking it up, just bring it over. It'll give your team some motivation. Like, oh yeah, this duelist cares, even though he's not the one that should be carrying the spike. He is bringing it over. Anyways, the final step is communication. And this tip really is important because think about it. If you're trying to do something and you're just in your own head doing everything, like, okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go there. But your whole team is on B, like, okay, what are we doing, right? Like, why are we trying to do this whole intricate plan with on our own? So, and also this really kind of ties into like, okay, so if I go out A, uh, guys, um, I'm gonna flash out and then like your whole team's right behind you, right? So you have that confidence of like, okay, even if I do die and I get messed up, hopefully one of my teammates behind me is gonna trade me, right? Hopefully it'll be worth it. Hopefully you get this, the site because of what I'm doing here. And so that gives you some some degree of confidence, right? And it, you know, you really might not think of like, oh, communication builds confidence, but it really does. Because if you can trust your teammates, then, you know, you, you can get away, you can, you can you can get away with doing more stuff uh, that you might not otherwise do because you know your teammates are going to be right behind you or they're on the same page as you even if it's not your teammates being right behind you so if i'm like okay guys i'm gonna run out flash and then i clear to the right and then someone's like up here here and then the person right behind me is going to kill them and then we're going to come up plant and then we win the round right not obviously that's not going to happen every time but like at least you have someone trying right behind you even if you don't get, kill that person or even if you don't win the round at least they're trying and they're listening, right? And again, I understand that every game, you're not gonna have people that listen. You're not gonna have people that are right behind you. They're not gonna trade you. They're not always gonna win the round for you, but at least sometimes you will. At least you're trying to do that. At least you're trying to communicate. If you don't try, then how can there even be a chance for that to work, right? So please guys try to communicate. And that's my third and final tip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little video and how to increase your confidence if you're a duelist. If you would like any other content, please reach out in the DM or my uh, comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.